Our universe is both benevolent and violent. There are little oasis pockets where things are very nice and calm and really good for life, like right around here. But there are definitely places and times where things get violent and rough. But you don't have to venture to the wrong side of the tracks to encounter some of the universe's scariest locations. Some are right in the neighborhood. Take Betelgeuse, hidden amidst the beautiful Orion constellation. A red star 640 light years away from Earth and ready to die. Now, Betelgeuse is a huge red supergiant star, and it even looks kind of angry and red hanging up there in the sky. It's so big that if you put it in our solar system, it would expand all the way out to the planet Jupiter. It's gigantic. When massive stars like Betelgeuse die, they go out with an epic bang. Now this star is just on the edge of going supernova, and when it does, we're in for quite a show. Betelgeuse is running out of gas. The nuclear fire at its heart fights a constant battle against the crushing gravity of its enormous mass. Once the gas is gone, you better stand back. No one can predict exactly when, but soon the star will begin to collapse. Imagine you're near the surface of this star just before it goes out, just before it goes supernova. You're gonna see the surface of that star just recede away from you incredibly rapidly. Much like if you were at the beach and you saw the water just recede away from you really rapidly, you know something bad is coming. The collapsing outer layers pummel the core, making it denser and denser. The core compresses as more of the star falls in. All that gas has to go somewhere, and so it bounces with an explosive force we can hardly imagine. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, we are talking about an epic catastrophe. An entire star is exploding. It's hard to describe just how much energy that is. Imagine all the energy the sun puts out every second. Multiply that times 31 million seconds in a year. Multiply that by 10 billion years in the sun's lifetime. That is how much energy a supernova puts out. The energy unleashed is a shockwave of light, heat, and superheated gas, racing out at thousands of miles a second, destroying everything around it. Life on any planet orbiting this exploding star would be completely eliminated. You certainly wouldn't want to book a cruise to Betelgeuse anytime soon. Or after it has gone supernova because when it finally dies, it might leave a nasty surprise. One of the most extreme objects in the universe, a neutron star. Neutron stars are kind of like vampire zombies. They are the cores of massive stars that have died. But now these neutron stars have their own gruesome lives and you don't want to get anywhere near this thing. Trillions and trillions of tons of matter are compressed into a sphere roughly the size of Manhattan. A neutron star is the densest body we know of in astrophysics besides a black hole. So if you somehow had a little stone-sized piece of neutron star matter, it would weigh 100 million metric tons and it would immediately fall right through your hand. Because the neutron star is so dense, it generates an intense gravitational field. It is really hard to exaggerate how dramatic and dangerous a neutron star is. The gravity is so intense that it would actually bend light around it. You would see all these kind of weird shimmering effects. Dazzling, but deadly. No astronaut will ever be able to approach a neutron star. But if you're an armchair traveler and want to find out what would happen, let's send a galactic crash test dummy. We'll call him Chuck. 
crash test dummies are a species that are completely devoted to ensuring human safety, and they sacrifice themselves to do it. Everything he encounters is gonna be, it's gonna be a pretty rough ride. Better him than me. As Chuck nears the neutron star, its gravitational grip is doing very bad things. The gravity is pulling on him so hard that he is accelerating all the way down to the surface. He'll be moving at very roughly one half to two thirds of the speed of light. The neutron star's gravity is 200 billion times stronger than on Earth. Around 150 miles above the surface, it starts to pull on Chuck's limbs in a distinctly unpleasant way. As you get closer and closer to a neutron star, we were told to think that it would be this elegant spaghettification where you would get longer like a piece of spaghetti. But in reality, you're gonna get ripped to shreds. Think about what you're really gonna experience. Think about, first, all your joints dislocated in your body. Your skin getting ripped off of your body, your bones being pulled apart, your organs being pulled apart. Within a blink of an eye, our dummy is just a thin stream of atoms hurtling towards the star. Those atoms will eventually fall down onto the neutron star. And unfortunately, the violence doesn't stop there. What's left of Chuck hits the surface, triggering a huge burst of energy. So we're talking about 100,000 miles per second. That's an impact. He's gonna hit so hard that the amount of energy released is just huge. It would completely dwarf the entire arsenal of nuclear weapons on our planet. Anything and anyone that ventures too close to a neutron star is destined for this catastrophic end. A neutron star is one of the most dangerous objects you can meet in any phase of their existence. If you're meeting a neutron star right when it's born, that means you're very near a supernova, and that means death. If you meet a neutron star after the supernova has gone off, that would be death. And then if you were lucky enough or unlucky enough to go falling onto a neutron star, uh, you'd be destroyed very rapidly and torn apart. If I had one piece of advice about neutron stars for future space travelers, it would be no, no, stay away. So you really don't want to be anywhere near one neutron star and its lethal gravity. 